everybody this is Kathy with um, create with Kate um, this is my very first video but I did want to show my um, trifold envelope that I made from the challenge going on at crafts to inspire with Tina and Jen it's their September challenge my envelopes are five and three quarter by four and a half and they're just from the paper studio at Hobby Lobby the designer paper that I've used is called Once Upon a Time, and it's from DCWV, and it's an old paper pack. I got it at a garage sale. I don't know if it's available anymore, anywhere or not. Uh, all my ephemera is from Eva at Bohemian Crafting, and so here we go. I've got a door plate here with a peephole and a keyhole. Um, I cut out the keyhole and the peephole, traced it onto some black card cardstock, and embossed it with gold embossing powder. I also used a little teeny tiny brads to put on here to look as if it's screwed right onto the page. Um, we've got a key for our keyhole, and then down here at the bottom I just did some uh, die cut numbers and put 31 on there. thought it would be appropriate because it's a little Halloween-y. So, let's go inside. This, by the way, also is an antique button that I've used for the closure. So, on our first page here, we have got a skeleton with a crow sitting on his head. Not quite sure what that skeleton's doing, if he's praying or praising <laughs> that crow. But inside, I've got a journal card and a little typewriter card just... Uh, little journaling cards there. I have inked everything with uh, Memento t Tuxedo Black ink inside this envelope. On this page we've got um, a journaling card and a diagram of a skull. Journaling cards, you, they're clear on the back for writing. Also I've got a diagram of a skull here that I made into a little pocket. And I put some little pumpkins in there. On this page, we've got a diagram of a foot and another journaling card. On this page, I've got a little girl that looks like she's really not happy with what she got in her bucket for trick-or-treating. But I thought she was kind of interesting, and I put her on the front of this. It's just a little paper pad that I've done. I've used the three-hole pa pamphlet stitch to stitch it in, and then the back of it coordinates with the rest of the papers. On the very back, I've got a picture of a really wretched-looking witch here, and she's in this pocket. And then, as well, I just have another little journaling card also from Eva at Bohemian Crafting. So I hope you like my little flip through of my trifold envelope challenge. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.